Hey guys, how you doing? Thank you so much for joining us this week. We are in our series, Holly Jolly Kitchen, where we are cooking up faith. We will learn a lot about what that looks like in our story, but for right now, let's stand up and worship God together. All right, so the Christmas season is now behind us and it was such a blast, but some people, <coughs> Graham, are having a hard time saying goodbye to the best time of the year. So we're doing a special Valentine's Day edition of our show, which should cheer him up. <laughs> Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. <laughs> Graham, I... I know you're sad, but the show is still rolling. <laughs> Today we're filming a very special <laughs> Valentine's Day edition. Wait, hold on. You're telling me that we get to keep doing this Holly Jolly Kitchen show? <laughs> that's right. <clears throat> well, that's the best day ever. So what are we gonna make? Um, Rudolph shaped cookies? Or a special <laughs> red and green birthday cake? Or... How about we redo that German dessert, that Fof of Lof and Lof? <laughs> Graham, Christmas is over, so it's not a Christmas challenge at all. Remember, today is all about Valentine's Day. Oh no, it's a Valentine's Day challenge? We're pretty good at Christmas. Honestly, probably the best. But Valentine's Day? We've never done a Valentine's Day challenge before. Okay, okay, don't get your oven mitts in a twist. We got this. Just read out loud so we can all hear what the challenge says. <clears throat> hey, Reese and Graham. Love the show. Your Christmas bakes are always the bomb. My sweet Valentine sure does love to eat. So I wanted to see your take at an edible gift. I'm tuning in to see what you come up with. Good luck, XOXO. Hmm, an edible Valentine's Day gift. Like, is he talking about flowers that you can eat? That's what it sounds like. Okay, okay, how about on the count of three, we say a Valentine's Day gift that you can eat. Okay. Ready? One, two, two three, three, a car. teddy bear. Uh, <laughs> um, I think we have a problem. You can't actually eat cards or teddy bears. <laughs> or can you? I have an idea! Uh, 
What if we melted this whole bowl of chocolate? And then dipped the cart and teddy bear in the chocolate. <laughs> Graham strikes again. Yes, another genius cooking idea. Can you say best Valentine's Day gift ever? Boom goes the Valentine's Day dynamite. Let's get started. Oh, look at this melty chocolate. You better get ready, cause it's dipping time. <laughs> I've got the card covered, literally. My Valentine is going to think this is the best edible gift ever. And it might be the only one they've ever gotten. Bonus points for originality. Well, hey, while you're finishing up that card, I'm gonna start dipping this teddy bear. Graham, that looks awesome. Oh, well, hey, make sure you sign your name oh. on that card so they know who it's from. Great, okay. <clears throat> to my Valentine, love, Reese. Okay, now what? Uh, I think we got a problem here. The teddy bear, it's not drying. Yeah, same with the card. The chocolate won't even let me sign my name. Well, does it still taste like chocolate? Is it edible still? Um, uh, um, well, not exactly. Um, how's the teddy bear? Uh. Oh, yuck, it's very gross. Oh, this isn't gonna work, abort, abort. Valentine's Day is canceled. Reese, why didn't we just stick with Christmas? I mean, we can't cancel a whole holiday because of our mess. There's just one thing left to do. Chocolate hands and all. Oh, ginger snap. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. When Jesus was 12 years old, they went up to the feast as usual. I love this family tradition. Me too. I'm good and hungry. How about you? Mm-hmm. After the feast was over, it was time to go back home. Well, that was fun. Let's pack it up. Time to go. Jesus' parents, Mary and Joseph, hit the road. While they were traveling, everyone thought Jesus was in their group. But little did they know, he had stayed behind in Jerusalem. Pretty soon, Mary and Joseph realized they hadn't seen Jesus anywhere. So they started to look for him among their friends and family. Jesus, where are you? He should be around here somewhere. Hey, have you seen Jesus? Nope, not here. We haven't seen him. They couldn't find him anywhere. Let's go back to Jerusalem. We've got to find Jesus. They looked everywhere and finally, after three days, they found him in the temple courtyard. He wasn't scared or all alone. No, Jesus was sitting, listening to the teachers and asking them questions. Everyone around him was so surprised at how much Jesus understood. And they were also amazed at his answers. Wow, good question. Nice answer. When Joseph and Mary saw Jesus, they couldn't believe it. His mother ran up to him and said, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been worried about you. We've been looking for you everywhere. Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? Joseph and Mary didn't understand what Jesus meant, but their family made their way back home. As Jesus grew taller, he continued to grow in wisdom. God was pleased with him and so were the people who knew him. You can grow in this way too. You can be like Jesus. All right, guys, that was a great story. Now we're going to hop into the greatest story of all time, the story of the gospel. You guys know the colors, so follow along with me. First color is white. In the beginning, there was nothing, just God, and everything was perfect. The next color after that is black. Sin entered the world, the fall of man, the wages of sin is death. The third color is red. The blood of Jesus was shed on the cross for us. He never sinned. Next is green, a new beginning. Jesus rose from the dead and we have a new life in Christ. And last but not least, yellow. We have everlasting life in heaven. 
Great job, guys. All right, thank you guys for joining us online. Before I let you go, I just want to pray you guys out. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to meet online. We know that you can do anything, and we just ask that, you're, that you help remind us that if we're going through a tough time, we can turn to you and that you'll help us out. In your name we pray, amen. Have a great week, guys.